Right, team. Setting up. This is the awkward moment where we make sure the shit works. I'll soon find out, I guess. Right, make sure we're in the right place. How's that looking, team? How's that looking? It's pretty good. I think we're in frame. I think we're in frame. We'll uh, we'll uh, we'll wait and we'll wait and check in on everyone to uh, to see when we're we're there or thereabouts. Oh yeah, there we go. Nice. Right, team. I'm putting you on my phone just to. Uh, just to make sure we're all there and and doing our bits and pieces. Um, I was thinking I could set up another iPad, uh, do some chat while we're doing it, but you guys shouldn't be chatting. You should be rowing. Okay, pretty plain and simple. Um, so I guess we'll start off uh, just having a bit of a yarn. Um, oh, looking good, big man. Thanks, Rob. Um, yeah, right, so we wanted to obviously get on here um we're going to be limited by the stream and so apologies if we cut out um i'm pretty sure i've got it set up here hey look we're in new zealand we've got fiber um works really well uh but we haven't live streamed before so limitations around that um not sure how it was going to work uh so far so good i think um we'll just have to make sure uh I guess if we drop, we drop. Um, and if we do, you keep going. Okay, simple as that. Um, yeah, so strange world we're living in right now. Um, we all know what's going on. Uh, but this is a really good opportunity for us to to just, I guess, take a break, see how things are going within ourselves. Oh, look at that. Someone's put something on the screen. It's running across. That's pretty cool. Whoever did that, good on you. Um, <laughs> like it. Um so we've got a um, we've got a few of the moderators will probably be online. Um, you know, ultimately this comes to you from a sensei. Um, so we've been working with a sensei. If any of you have just sort of tuned into it and followed over social media, a sensei is a great connected coaching app. Um, it'll link with your concept to machine, and you can do a ton of workouts, different uh, varieties, and uh, in, in, in a whole different range uh, from endurance stuff right through to speed work. And it's a really great opportunity for everybody to just get on the machine, get fitter, um, and get to enjoy rowing, basically. Um, it's about as simple as it goes. So I guess we've probably, uh, I think we'll, we'll have most of the people, I guess, in here that we're going to. Um, this will be saved afterwards. So if it, um, I don't think it's going to crash. Fingers crossed. Touch some wood. Touch some nice plywood. Um that we will be able to look back on it, do this again. Um, so I guess without further ado, um, let's probably just get into it, okay? Um, first and foremost, I'm just going to give my machine, just because I heard it having a bit of a rub. Um, remember, clean your machines. Clean your machines. Give it a going over. Make sure it's nice and sanitized, doing the bits and pieces. It sounds a bit better. And for people that have asked me, this stuff here, so it's physio tape. Physio tape. Okay. Now that's what I use on my heels. So I just chuck a little bit down on here and it's really sticky and it just goes in behind uh, right on the heel strap. And that is how I ergon bare feet, okay? So that's me. That's how I do it. Um, cool. Okay. Um, as I always talk about, we need to do a little bit of a warm-up to uh, to get limber and, and get going. So if you haven't done it already, let's just uh, – oh, let's get these old bodies working. Oh, my back. My back. No, won't be like that. Okay, so as I always talk about, 
when you get on to do a bit of a warm up, just start nice and loose. You don't have to be sitting too tall. Just shaking everything out. Because ultimately we just want to get the blood flowing. We want to get nice movement speed. And we want to start developing that length and a bit of a hang. You know, you might be a bit tight in the shoulders. It's just about getting that relaxation, the length. I do find sometimes, depending on the workout you're doing, you might have to get off, have a bit of a stretch after the fact. But really in the workout, we want to be we want to be able to work right from the start. Okay, we don't want to have to sort of sit there and go, okay, the first four minutes, I'm going to start building into it. We really want to be able to hit it within the first 30 seconds and then be on our money, okay? So when we're doing this warm-up, it's the ability to every sort of 20 seconds add a little bit more just give it a little bit more push, a little bit more swing, and already starting to feel the hang. Over exaggerate things a little bit. Nice. So, really getting loose and limber. You only need to do this from anywhere between two, three, four, five minutes, depending on what you're going to be doing. Just enough to get all the blood pumping. Wake the muscles up. I should apologise to everybody that's 9pm in the UK. <laughs> Sorry guys, we'll make the next one a bit earlier. I'm sure we all don't have that much to do at the moment. Sometimes as well, in the warm-up, depending on where you're starting your pieces, so if you can see in the background, we've got four eight-minute pieces. I love my eight-minute pieces. We're starting off at 20, 22. So we don't probably really need to do a bit of a burst in the warm-up, okay? If you were going to be starting a bit higher, sometimes it is good to have a bit of a, I guess, rate-driven piece while you're doing this, really just to get ready for the rating that you're going to need to hold as we start. So I'm just about on my splits that I'd be looking to hold at this 20 rate to start off today. So once we get to about that, you know, you might find the, the heart rate sort of spiked a little bit, which is good. And then we just get ready to Move into the work. Okay, so that's me. Already starting to perspire, which is good. It's very good. So the other thing too, just to uh, to make sure, is that uh, we. Uh, you're set ready to go obviously you know if you've got back problems you need to do some stretching there's always that opportunity to just get down have a little bit of a stretch uh, make sure that you're in the right situation ready and prepared to to actually be able to to do the work okay we're not doing whole heap today um, we're not going to be smashing out a whole heap of 
uh, massive numbers. I guess we might be towards the end. It's just something steady. It's, um, it's things that I like to just get on with because it's a great mental way of doing a workout. And we're going to finish at 32 minutes of work plus a few breaks in between, 35 minutes of work, a bit, bit of warm up. So ultimately, we should be able to punch this out in sort of 40 minutes, which is perfect. Okay, we're going we're gonna to raise a bit of a sweat. We're going to feel good about ourselves, nice and healthy. Um, and that's basically the key. Okay, that's what we want to do. Fit and healthy. We can drink the beers that we want. We can eat the food that we want. Um, you know, that's basically what we're trying to achieve while we're doing this sort of stuff. Okay, we, we all know health and well-being, fitness is a massive, massive part of that. Uh, and that's that's basically what we're here for. Okay, so um, yeah, uh, uh, I'll run it through you now before we set it up on screen. Four eight minutes, one minute rest. So we'll set it up as an interval, timed interval um, on our screen. Uh, and then we'll also also as well, if you want, um, turn your ERG data on. So anybody that's using a Concept Two machine, I think I've said it before a few times. Download an app called Erg Data, create a Concept2 logbook, um, and it's really great if you're just doing it by yourself. Otherwise, use the Sensei, uh, and then that's going to store your stuff in the background. And, you know, that's what we're all about, just ticking up those miles, doing those bits and pieces. So first one today, we're going to do eight minutes. We're going to change every four minutes. We're just going to start off at 20, then we're going to go to 22 for that second half. Then we have our break, then we do another 4-4, four, four, okay? 22, 24, it's great. Then the third one, a little bit of a mental game on this one, a 3, 3, 2. Okay, so that's 22, 24, then we jump up to 26. Last one, we're just increasing the rates every two minutes, 22, 24, 26, 28, bang, finished. Okay, so uh, really simple, really easy. Uh, it's good, as I said, and it's what I talk about all the time, it's just this ability to like um, trick your mind into doing what you're doing. Okay, just trick it. You know, we, we're going to punch out the times. You're just doing a short segment and then you're jumping on to the next one. Um, and, and that's really what it's about. You know, we don't have to, we don't, you know, sometimes it's good, sometimes it's not, you know, set the machine to 30 or 40 minutes and you're like, man, <sighs> got a long way to go countdown. Whereas this, you're always just working on things. And, and as you increase this rate, we'll be talking about how to make it more efficient, that side of things as well. Okay, so let's get into it. No better time than the present. Right, select workout, new workout, intervals, time. Just take that up to eight minutes. And we take the rest to one minute. Easy peasy, just like that. Okay. I'll chuck that on that side so it's not in the view. <sighs> Sorry, we might have talked a little bit long, but that's fine. We'll um we'll make up for that. <sighs> so also, if you're running a heart rate monitor, good for you. Um, they do work very well. They do work wonders uh, in terms of uh, tracking like where you're at, how things are going. Uh, you'll get to notice like your fitness levels, bits and pieces. And I just run an Apple Watch. Um, not going to lie, it's actually pretty bloody good. Um, you know, these, obviously, if you want really, really good accuracy, you'd run a proper one, so like a Garmin, Polar, whatever it is. Um, but this does a really good job. Okay. Right, let's get into it. Okay. So, first eight minutes. The first four of it is just going to be at 20 rate. Okay. Right, here we go. Hey, right. Right. So we get into that rhythm, we find that rating just with the flow. Remember, it should feel effortless. We work, we drive, we relax the recovery. Thinking of those loose muscles. Really feeling that push. The 
pushing hang. Nice. Remember letting that chain take us forward. It's wanting to pull us back. Soft knees. Don't want to be too rigid as the hands come across the knees on the setup. We've all got different flexibilities, different body shapes. My body looks exactly the same. We're just trying to get into that position that we can manage, that you as a person, in order to get that hang and sendability. Okay. Nice long arms. Push away from the handle. Really good. Feel that body weight. Getting driven through the hips and opening out. Feel like we're sitting back through the stroke. Remember, hang as long as possible. Listen to the machine. One smooth sound on the drive. Good. Really nice. Sitting into those numbers. Yes, it is quite difficult. The talk and row. I'll do my best. So as we come up to this change, let's start thinking about the weight coming onto the feet through here. As we roll in to the front. Because we're just going to make this turn a little bit quicker, okay? Here we go. Change. Around the front, around the back. Just make those a little bit quicker. And all of a sudden, we're on 22. Good, keeping it long. And relax. We just continue the speed of the hand around the back. Around the front. Letting the chain help us forward. It's going to draw us forward. We're going to glide on the seat. Consistent, continuous motion. Good. Nice and loose in the shoulders. Nice flow. Remember, consistency is the key. Nice and relaxed breathing. Go 
will feel the core around the finish, around the front. Just to not let ourselves flop down too much. Always while working on this hang, very critical. We push away, the arms can hold a lot of weight by hanging. The moment we make them bend, we're going to lose a lot of power and we're going to lose, we're going to gain a lot of fatigue. So remember, through the lats, under that armpit hang, nice and low. Really good. You can feel that coming onto the feet again. The compression. We should feel our feet almost floating in the shoes through here, through that finish, coming into the front. When we feel them start to load through here, that's our change in direction. We come in and we spring away. Just a load and a push, pushing a hang. Good, feel that round the front. Continuous motion. Nice. Good. Yeah, really nice. Good start. Good start to the session. Okay, so we're just going to build on that because as we increase this rating, we need to make sure we're looking for that efficiency because ultimately our speed comes from efficiency, not the amount of work that we put in, okay? Because naturally we're going to be working, okay? That's what I try and explain to everybody. Everybody's working hard, but it's finding a sweet spot which your fitness allows, where you can sit there, tap it along, tap it along, be composed within yourself. Okay, here we go. Five seconds to go, we're into it. Right, this one's 22, 24. So straight on to the 22. We should have a pretty good feeling from the last piece. Good. Remember, feel the flow, front and back. Get that rhythm. Then we can start to work on the length. And the swing. Handles drawing us forward. Use that bungee. Use that resistance. Chain wants to go back really quickly. Just loosen the arms. It's going to pull us forward. Good. Let's feel that push and swing. Really feel this hang. It's a perfect rating. Feel the pressure off the front. And it's carried all the way through to the finish. If you want, on the side of your screen, hit the second button down on the right. And it brings up a force curve. Now watch that force curve for a little bit. We just want a nice, smooth semicircle, basically, like a bell curve.
Now, if I showed you mine, you'd be bloody jealous. So what we're trying to do is just get it smooth all the way through, which means we create, we carry, and we let it go. Good. So we push with the feet while we're hanging. We let the bodies come in off that drive. We're sort of straightening out. We're sitting back into a seat. Good. Good rhythm. Good flow. Nice. Really good. So let's think about our breathing. Because as we start to go in this next change, everything's going to move a bit quicker. Naturally, it's going to be adding a little bit more power. Just through that acceleration of the stroke. So we focus by moving the hands a bit quick around the finish and being a little bit more compressive spring off the front. Right, here we go. Now, so just move the hands. So if you feel like you shorten up a bit, don't worry. As we get into the flow, we feel the chain draw us forward again. So resist that temptation to yank it into the body, let it come to us, it should brush the body. If we've got enough energy to yank it, we're not doing the front properly. The big muscles are where all the creation happens. Legs, through the glutes, through the back, the lats, all firing in sequence. Good. Good rhythm. Breathing. Take a moment. Feel the relaxation. Feel the ratio, the work, the rest. The work, rest. Loose. Shake it out. Nice, nice and floppy. The only small tension is the muscles on the drive. Good. Remember holding that split, get your target, maintain, breathe, okay let's focus around the front again, not heavy, we're rolling around the front, not in and out, load, Hang away. Good. 
chain draws us forward. Good. Nice rhythm. Feel that press on the feet. Swing. Yeah. Nice and relaxed in the body. All the way to the line. Good. Good. Starting to get a bit more intensity. We've got to be relaxed. Got to keep that flow. Keep us rolling along. Keep that movement. Quick drink. I do harp on about it a little. Just keep moving, you know, in these breaks. Don't just sit there and wait for the next time check to happen. Let's keep rolling through. Now we're about 15 seconds to go. Take some big breaths. Start building the pressure again. We want to hit the line. Okay, this is 3, 3, 2, 22, 24, 26. Here we go. So back on that 22. Nice and long. Should feel a little bit easier because we finished at 24. Feel the length. That's good. A bit tall. Yeah, nice. Heads up. Open the mouth, breathing, there's a rhythm to your breathing, listen to it, let's listen to it for 15 seconds, Good. Okay. That'll change as we go up in rate. As intensity increases. So make sure we focus that breathing to help with relaxation. Push some blood around the body. Oxygen into the lungs. Might be hard if you're in a garage. You forgot to open the window. Just hope there's not too many petrol cans around. Good rhythm. I really feel the hang. We can feel the length of the drive at 22. A lot more than anything else we're going to be doing. Feel the forces, the push, the swing, and the draw. Good. Really nice. Okay, 15 seconds to change. Ready, feel the rhythm. 
moving. Yep, now. Everything a little bit quicker. Momentum. Round the finish. Hands lead away. Look at that change in speed. Maintain. Look for that rhythm. That easy feeling. Length of stroke. Not slipping back and forward. Good. Shake it out. Nice and loose. Hang long. Nice. Sitting tall. Alright, feel the feet again. Push and hang. Feel that under the armpit. Armpit hang. Good. Nice. The flow. The feel the bodies getting driven off the legs through the hips. The swing comes from the leg drive. As we sit back through the stroke. Right, up to 26. Two minutes. Now, move the hands quicker. Good. Acceleration. Feel the push, feel the quickness, while still feeling that little bit of pressure. Find the rhythm. Continuous motion, back and forth. No tension coming forward. Use the chain, takes us back to the front. Good. Good, sitting tall, heads up. Good hand. Hands around the back. Nice. Push. Swing. Feeling loose. 
Yeah, really good. Good. So keep moving. It's good. Intensity comes up with that rating change. And you'll really find that I found for about the 30 seconds there, because it was a new rating, we've done a lot at that 22, 24. I really had to think a little bit more quickness of the hands and just let it come in and around. That there takes us forward. That's why we don't go and then get stuck. We go around the back. And this is going to want to go 100 mile an hour, so we just let it happen. Okay. So, last one, two minute changes all the way through. First one at 22. Here we go. Now, so good rhythm. This should feel very long and lopey. Good. Let's start by getting that connect. Doing tall, hang and swing. Good. Nice length under the armpits. Coming forward. Natural length. Don't overreach if you're not flexible. It's about the connection. It's about that change of direction. Load around the front. Don't go in and come out. Compressive energy. Come in and around. You want to push out. Body doesn't want to sit there naturally. So let's look at our splits. We want a good solid number. We want to get a good change all the way through. A couple of splits or more. Every rating change through to that 28. Set yourself a target. It's only eight minutes. Now it's just over six. Finish it off well. Right, changing. Now, move the hands. Good. Loose. Remember, not too tight in the fingers. Don't grip the hell out of the handle. Nice. You're really good. Good rhythm. Check the length. Still keeping it long and extended the stroke. Time on the dry. Good. Remember looking for that speed at each rate. Working the drive. Relaxing. Right, breathing. No facial tension. Nothing in the shoulders. Good. So, when we change, let's look for accelerated legs. Spin the hands around the back. Here we go. Now, 
Hang stay. Good. Relax into it. Now hold this metronomic rhythm. Back and forward. If you have to, find the rhythm. Then add a little bit more power. Just a little bit. Sustainable. Finish. Round the body. Don't jam it. The only time you're allowed to jam it, last 200 of an egg test. Slow. Sitting tall. Good. Push, feet. Around the front. Nice. Come down to the final change. Acceleration. Remember, find the rhythm. Build into it. Here we go. Now, hand speed. Good. Got to give it the acceleration. Right, settle into this. Long stroke. Use the bungee of the, of the chain. Good. Nice. Feel that momentum. Feel the swing. Here we go. Push swing. Switch off. Coming forward. A bit long. And hang. Good. Really nice. Last 30 seconds. Hold. Rhythm. Relax the face. Keep it relaxed. All the way. Right to the zero. <sighs> nice. Really good team. Great work. Who got a sweat on? My feet are dripping already. Okay. <sighs> sit tall. Don't sit around. We'll paddle it down for a few minutes. When you're ready, just press the menu button a couple of times on your machine. It'll save everything to the memory, to your ERG data. Okay, now the one thing we want to do when we're warming down, believe it or not, 
We don't just want to push the leaves down. Okay, there's a time and a place for that when you're absolutely spent. Okay, but when we're warming down for something like this, you still actually want to feel a little bit of pressure, like the hang pressure. While you're here, you can still feel that I can feel my force curve. Okay, because what this is actually doing is the muscles still need to be working a little bit. They're not working very hard, but they're helping flush out the lactate, pump in some oxygen, and that's what we're after in this recovery phase. It's just making sure that we're doing enough to keep things from tying up, any muscle damage that we might have done. We're starting to get a few red blood cells around the zones. And even now, I just think the hang, over exaggerate things a little bit, shoulder blades coming together, the core. And see, by now, you should feel like actually my heart rate's come down a bit. I'm feeling a lot more clarity just by actually doing this active recovery, okay? That's what it's called, active recovery. So we can do this for a couple of minutes and we can have a chat, okay? And a little bit of a, a debrief on, on the piece. Um, we might be able to do a little bit of Q&A for 10 minutes or so. But as I said at the start, these, these workouts are simple, okay? Now, we can make it harder. We can uh, make it a little bit more intense just by shortening rest period. Okay, we could have done 40 second rest or 30, or I've done that quite often with a 20 second rest, okay? And then that makes it more of a continuous workout, but you've still got that slight break to go, shit, okay, let's focus. What do I have to do for the next piece? What did I learn from that last one? What did I feel like I wasn't doing well? Because that's what we've got to be doing all the time, is evaluating. And the only way to really evaluate is to have that little bit of a break. Now, professional, yeah, you have to evaluate at the same time, but ultimately, we're trying to be fit. I ain't no professional no more. <laughs> the, uh, the ability to do it and to actually have fun, to know that you're getting a huge benefit out of what you're doing is the reason that we're sitting on here now. Okay, heart rate's gone down. That's bloody good. <sighs> Gonna have to get the old mop out. A few little bloody puddles underneath the feet. Not too bad though. I would have thought I would have. Uh, I would have thought I would have been uh, a little bit more sweatier than that. But that's fine. Um, right. I can't see my. Oh, I have to have a look and see how I can get my. Oh, there's my chat. Oh yeah, there we go. Like the chat, Eric. Thanks, Neil. When was that? That was quite early on. Uh, yeah. So recap. Should do a recap. Um, basically, as I said, you know, this type of stuff is, is great work. Um, I, I'm a big fan of, of really doing things, um, of doing things short and sweet and it not being mentally draining because I, I always see people going, I hate the row, it sucks, you know, A, because they don't really know how to do it. They don't know how to use it in that fitness sense, technically. Um, and so really for what I do is the ability to actually make it enjoyable for people, okay? And doing short intervals, you know, the max I really want to get out to is 10, 15 minutes. Um, you know, I even, even, even top level when we were doing it, you know, we always cut things up 30 minutes, you know, 230s because... It just made it so much easier uh, than than like hammering it out for for that whole time. Sometimes you did it, you went, "I'm not going to have a break. This is this is what I'm doing." Okay, so when you when you're on the machine yourselves, just make things up. 
okay? Um, now, with the ratings that we went through today, that's a real middle ground rating. Um, you know, we, we, that sort of, once you get up to like 24, you should, should still be doing it efficiently enough to be in an aerobic zone, okay? Once, once we start getting out of that, we move into the anaerobic and we're starting to build a little bit more lactate, that type of thing. Um, and so basically that's what we're, um, that's, that's really what we're trying to do. You know, once we start getting out of that zone, we're working it a little bit harder. And so for you at home, if you're doing something just by yourself, you know, jump on the Ascente because that's, that's really got a good makeup of different workouts that you can do. Um, but if you're actually just doing it by yourself at home and you need to do something, you, it's, you can't really just get on every day and go wrong and do one minute pieces. Okay, there are days where you just got to do the grind, get the fitness under your belt, because then if you do that properly and you mix it up, you know, you do, let's say, three sessions a week, one of them's got to be solely aerobic, one can be high intensive, like fun stuff, and then the other one has a mix, just like today. Okay, that's a real mixture one. We go up and out, up and out of the different heart rate zones and we bring it back down. So it's not going to be a huge detriment to you, okay? Um, so yeah, that's that's basically the idea behind it, um, and and why we do this sort of stuff, okay? Um, technique, as I say, always just always 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 remember that it's it's about efficiency, okay? So it's that hang, you know. The longer we can just hang and push, you know, the moment we do this and we or we try and get a little bit of arm. It's no different, and I and I explain it to people in two ways. Okay, you hang off a chin-up bar. You know, you can see people hanging there for ages. You try and put an arm pull in it, you you're dead. Okay, but you can you can do hang there for a bit. Okay, or lifting a weight off the floor. Okay, you just got to lift it straight up, and there's no none of this. You're basically just lifting it up with your body weight, and it's the same on the rower. So it's hard to get that if it's if it's a foreign. Uh, movement or if you haven't done it like that in the past and it's just the ability to really open your body back with it so as you drive just open the body back so by the end of it we're actually just sitting back like this imagine sitting in the couch feet up on a stool bare in hand should i say um that's the sort of the finished position okay a bit more engagement in the core but that's what happens is you come all this compression to finish out like this sitting back and that's what i talk about when i'm when i'm rowing i say like let's sit back into the machine Okay, let's sit back and see where we can go. Um, okay, because that's that's really the way, the simplest way to describe it, um, and it's and it's quite an easy way for for people to get their head around. Okay, um, I'm just going to try because my I'm going to have to come a little bit closer to my screen if I can't uh, get this working. But I'm just trying to see some of your comments up there and. Um, not a hundred percent working for me, unfortunately. I was trying to get them through on the phone, um, but I can't quite see it right now. Uh, oh, here we go. Now we're in. Now we're in. Okay. Uh, I'm going to go back. Yeah. Sorry, Claire, for the bit late at nine pm. Um, 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 we'll, we'll try. We'll, we'll try and do a mixture because there's no reason why I can't do some here at seven pm, which is seven am for you guys. Um, in the UK, um, not sure, uh, pa Pater Paterazzi, um, on the catch, do you pause or spring right off? Okay, so, okay, so what I talk about around the front is you want to come in and around, okay, we don't want to go in, pause and out, okay, and so what, what I, what the whole thing is, if you try and, if you try and sit in this position, oh, it's really hard, okay. So what we want to do is feel that in and around. Okay, so as as you're coming right into the front, just about here, you'll really feel the force on here in your ankle and in, in your knees, like trying to push you away because it's a bloody uncomfortable feeling. So just before you get to the front, you almost want to be thinking like you're pushing away. So it's like, so it's like, okay, I'm compressed, but I'm actually pushing away. But you you feel like you're still traveling forward. And that's the around feeling that you get, okay? Even make a little bit of an around with the handle rather than going in and try and pull it out, okay? So use that. So even if you're sitting on your machine now, try and compress and stay there. It's, it's really hard, okay? 
use that energy of your of your legs and your ankles and everything trying to push you back as a way to spring. That's what I talk about with the spring off the front. It's not like bang and spring off. It's just that compressor. You know, if you take a little spring and you give it a bit of a push, it wants to push back out. Same thing. Knees, ankles, body just does that. Okay. Um, notice the grip looks really loose. Jim T, any, any advice, mate? Um, I just, over time, um, my grip, like we, we didn't want to grip the handle, okay? I always, uh, even in our pair, we used to have a saying called piano fingers. And so you actually like on the recovery, you know, there's, there's grip there, okay? You have your thumbs underneath, you're gripping. But as you're coming forward, you don't need to be gripped. You actually want to be like piano fingers. And then, and then because you're actually, same thing, you know, like if you're, if you're doing, you know, lifting that bar and stuff off the ground, you're not like really clenched around. You really find that it's more finger clench than it is whole grip like clench, okay? Same with chin up. It's more like top finger clench rather than that. And that you can do the same thing on the row. So it's just about learning how to do it. Okay, now as you get up and rate, yep, my, my grip probably does increase. And when I'm at full tip, I'm pretty solidly gripped. And that's just what you got to do, okay? Uh, where are we? Where's my grip? Uh, um, Neil, how compressed should we feel at the catch? Yeah, I think I just explained that one, mate. You'll, you'll feel pretty compressed. Um, uh, interested to know the pull force is when you get much faster split times at flow through. Uh, okay, so like I, I work on my, um, I work on my force curve all the time. Okay, every time, and you know, ultimately you want this half round shape because what that means is that at the highest point of that curve is where you're producing the maximum force, okay? But we don't want like a real high peak. We don't want it to go up like a big triangle. We actually want to, what it's, what it's actually measuring is when everything's coming in together and when it's all finishing off, okay? So the force that you want to be trying to work, if this is sort of your question, is you really just want to be creating a, like a, a nice momentum stroke because if you do it properly, you do the legs, the body, the arms, just holding it on and finishing off at the finish. Everything works in unison, in the right amount, um, in the right way, and ultimately that's how we sustain our energy. Okay, now, if you do too much on the legs and you're really hammering on the legs, you're gonna die, and you'll get off the machine and go, man, I've died. You know, or you're like, man, my arms burnt out. I just couldn't hold on to it anymore. So these are the things that when you get that sequencing right and you get the muscles firing in the right situation all the time, then it's going to pay off for you in the long run. Um, uh, blah, 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 blah. Any future, Leonard, any advice, future workouts for lactate building and aerobic workouts? Oh, mate, there's plenty on the Ascensei. Um, jump in there. Um, but yeah, like, so lactate building stuff is really just when you're pushing it pretty hard, okay? But you can actually do, this can be a lactate building one. If we say started like two minute pieces and you went 28, 30, 32, 34, okay, that's really going to start pumping you up. So it's really like, do you want minimal lactate building or like a lot of this is around what, what your certain goals are because if you're just doing this with fitness, that sort of thing, now if you're a rower, I'd suggest that you do some of these, and there are some on, on the Sensei, pretty sure, where we basically start with that bottom workout, and we go up in two every time. So the second one goes 24, 26, 28, 30, and then up again and up again, four of them, okay? Now that's really lactate building. Now there's lactate threshold, which is like one minute on, 30 seconds off, like full tip. Like one minute on, one minute off, yeah, but if you want to even go another level, like one minute thirties, that will really uh, send you send you through it. Um, you get the force curve displayed by hitting the second button. Yep, Rachel, that is correct. Um, so down on the second second button on the right. So as you're rowing, um, just press that second button down, and you'll see kg pounds on the left. And then it just does a little graph for you. Okay. And what what it is that I, I implore people to actually have a look at that because what that does is it actually shows you how you're creating your workout. So if it's peaks at the front, yep, you've got great leg push off the front, but you're not connecting it through at the body, okay? 
So then there's a little bit of disconnect. Or if it peaks towards the end, you're ultimately probably got not enough a connection off the front and then you're really giving it a nudge with your arms and your back towards the finish. So start off just slow, like in your warm-up. Have a look. See what you can do. See how you can change it. Um, but ultimately, trust me, best people in the world will have quite a smooth curve because everything's coming in unison. Everything's happening um, in unison. Uh, shot Eric. Thanks, Ty. Um, uh, right, we've got a few more, I guess. Here we go. Um, uh, competitive row. Uh, yep, thanks, Rachel. Okay, um, I think that might be us. Um, how regular we're going to do these, Neil? Um, uh, ask Steve, ask Mr. Asensei there. We'll, um, we're going to do a few webinars if you're an Asensei member um, and do a bit more Q&A for people um and that type of thing but hey look i'm 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 just like you guys we're in isolation <laughs> we um we don't have much more to do i've just got my um eight-year-old so if i if i do these sessions at later at night i'll have to make sure he's in bed and um shoot out to my garage and, and hopefully he doesn't get up and have a have a snack or uh stay on his ipad for too long um but yeah no we can definitely do something um What's my thoughts on the rowing season? What rowing season's gone? It's out, finished. Um, won't be back again. Um, I guess we. I guess probably New Zealand's the luckiest one because our rowing season had already finished, and um, so down here, New Zealand, Australia, uh, we'll be kicking it off again in sort of September. So hopefully by then, um, yeah, we'll be. <laughs> we'll uh, we'll be all there. Um, right. Uh, okay, I think we'll um, yeah, RIP Marty. That's absolutely right, Ty. Okay, we'll um, we'll leave it at that, guys. Um, I think this workout will end up staying on the Sensei YouTube, and we'll um, we'll publicise a little bit more um, um, for when the next ones are coming along, and just give us a little bit of feedback if you don't mind in the chat, um, just whether or not there was enough time for the warm-up for you to get set up. Did you want a little bit more time between when I set the screen? Because I know I just sort of set the screen and went, right, let's go. Um, you know, did you need a little bit more space, that type of thing? Because we really want to make sure everybody's on the same page. Um, so we start at the same time and we get going. Okay, a little bit more instructions. Um, you tell me and um, and we'll make it better for, for next time. Uh Last question. Okay, can you say something about UT2, Neil? Okay, Neil, um, just on that, it's 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 not as well, okay, it's not as simple to explain. Um, but UT2 is just basically below 80% heart rate. It's sort of like a 70 to 80, 85% heart max heart rate. So if you max heart like round numbers 200, um, you know, you want to sort of be around that 160. Okay, 150 to say 165, 155, 165. That is your aerobic building zone. Okay, and if you stay in that zone for a long period of time, you get fitter and ultimately you want to go in and out of it a little bit. Yes, you don't want to go below that, but you want to go into it. So that's UT2. Now, it's hard to find that if you don't know your max heart rate or if you don't have a heart rate monitor um, because ultimately you can't track it. Okay, but that UT2 zone is a standardized zone that any athlete around the world will know, and that is your that is your aerobic building zone. So if you, if you have a rough idea of where your max heart rate is, then you can work around that 80% that below it, and that's the sort of region that you want to be getting quite a lot of. Let's say probably 60%, 50% of your training needs to be around that area where that's just your... You know, you've got your person that goes out, wants to be a runner, and they just go out and they run every day, and that's their aerobic, that's how they stay fit. It's around that zone, okay? Now, yeah, you can stay fit by going a little bit less, but ultimately, that is a really good zone that allows you, like, if, you, if you're able to do a lot of UT2, say, a few months on here, you could probably find you could sit on here for 45 minutes or more, do it, and go jump off the machine like you're feeling right now, and go you know what, that was pretty bloody good because you recover so much quicker because that's the whole idea of the UT2 is, is around um, like your recovery, et cetera. Okay, um, okay that's it, guys. That's a wrap. Um, we will um, we'll zone in next time 
Um, until then, keep up the training, do a few more. And um, yeah, look, geez, we're, we're not even a week down here in New Zealand. So we've got at least another uh, three solid weeks of, of doing some more live stream stuff. So till then, right, I'm signing off. I better press the, you're going to see a nice close up of the old, of the old chops and face here. Okay. Thanks team. Till next time.